Okay, so the arms can be done pretty much the same way. Um, and they, they hang, actually, they're long. Or um, so forearms longer than the, yeah, okay. So um, I kind of like to have the triceps in mind. Uh, see, I hit four, that's what happens. Um, when I'm starting to build the arm, um, but let's just go ahead and shape it. I can probably do the triceps and the musculature in ZBrush or in Substance. Son of a gun, I'm never gonna not do that. All right, so hold shift, and we'll start thinking about the forearm. I mean, the upper arm right there. So it's the middle of the bicep. Start getting into the elbow. Shape that. Let's see. Elbow's going to squeezy a bit to where the forearm is oblong. Overly. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bigger thing. Let's see. Play with that soft selection again. It's so fun. When it works. When you can get it to work. I mean, sometimes it works wonders, and sometimes. Oopsie. Undo that. That one. Go back into it. And let's do that a little bit. Trying to get there. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get this thing in. Alright. Clear it. Three minutes. I uh, try to keep my recordings to about five minutes just so that I don't crash everything all the time, which happens anyway. Ever since I got Camtage, I've been crashing like crazy. It's been annoying. Alright, uh, one edge. So selection off. Space bar. I'll be thinking about how to do those legs a little bit better. I'm gonna think about the shape of them. Uh, I'm sure there's a sculpting tool in Maya somewhere I could probably use to help me out as well. So um I think I'm going to Cut some things into here to make the mesh a little bit more conducive for these hips. Oh, I got mesh cuts. Okay. Um, all right. I'll be back. I'm going to learn about meshes and how to cut tools because I need that right now.